Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your host here on Couch Command. My name's Oliver. And I'm getting back into this. I was away for a while. I just got a comment yesterday, and I was like, oh yeah, I still have this YouTube channel that actually didn't do horrible. I might start making videos for it again, because we are on the cusp of Wastelanders coming up April the 2nd, 7th. And yeah, I'm super excited about that. I hope it revitalizes the game. If not, it's been a good run. And I'll be making a few more videos in 76. Um, base builds and the like. Also be doing content on Wastelanders when it comes out. This is my build of the day. We got a welder man. He's a hard worker. He's lived a hard life. This is his outfit. As you can see. And there's a build right here. We got a barn looking structure. If you go around the outside here, I could fix this stuff up if I had more build space, but I didn't. So that's why it's kind of floating a little bit. Um, it looks kind of ugly from the outside, but once you go inside, it's a, it's a beaut. These turns are here just for protection. Um, here's the location of it on the map. You don't get many enemies up here besides low level super mutants. If we head on inside here, you got your little place for your kids to ride on while they're waiting for their dad's sh shit to get done. And if you walk on in here, we have our accomplishments. Boom, we got a punch bowl to drink out of. Some stuffed animals for kids to play with while they're waiting for their their, equi their dad's equipment to be done. We got shops for the fathers to browse while they're waiting for their equipment. Or mothers. Um, this, I do not have this membership anymore, I want you all to know. Um, I got it stupidly way back in the day when this when it first came out, because I was really into the Fallout 76 scene. And yeah, I got rid of it, but this box didn't go away, and I just figured I'd keep it. Um, but I got these statues here people can look at while they're waiting for their work to be done. I like this design because it's really open feeling, like when you walk in it's symmetrical and also very open. It is a nice. And then each side is the same as you can see here. I like that. It feels very unique. You walk into your workshop area, and I like the elevation change in this building. You know, you don't see that in a lot of base builds. Um, I think it feels real nice. But yeah, you got your little workshop area where you build all your customers' products. And yeah, you got your acid farm here, and a cattle on the ground. Um, but yeah, acid farm. And then you live here, you know, these are some beds for your customers to sleep in while they're waiting. Because it took them a long way to travel. Here we are in the apocalypse. But if you come upstairs to, to, to your loft, this is a place where customers can hang out, or you can hang out. It's your little living quarters, basically. You got your restroom, piano jukebox, little fire pit area, some guns in case trouble comes along. Um, I will just play stuff here eventually, but nothing. Place to eat place to sleep or a place to cook and do chemistry this 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 base is kind of like your um the wasteland you know bed and rest place x fixed weapons and armor and gear you know so it's your job to you're like i should should have put a sign out here but this is basically like a um a food and rest stop with crafting and you're and you're the um, the builder, so you repair all their gear and shit, get them all situated. They pay you and go on their way. Yeah, it's a nice place. I like the open floor plan. I like the loft. That's my favorite part, honestly. I put the most time and effort into that, and I did have a whole back on this place, but it didn't work out. So I kind of I made it into what the, what it is now. But yeah, I hope you all like the build. I am over encumbered, and it's annoying. So that I don't have my scrap box anymore. I'm carrying a bunch of scrap on me. And then I had to take all my clothes out of the um, stash box because of all my other scraps in my stash box. So Bethesda, fix your game, man. Give me unlimited scrap without paying $100 a year or $13 a month. I can get fucking two movie subscription services like Disney Plus and another one for the price of Bethesda membership for this game. Just saying. I hope you all enjoyed the video. 
This is Couch Command, your host Oliver signing off.